time. Probably the most important factor when it comes to gaining value with CSGO skins. But I don't have time. I have approximately a month, a noob, and my years of CSGO investing experience. Two of these things are self-explanatory, so let me introduce you to Ice Ninja. Similar to his username skills, he has very little experience in the world of CSGO investing. He's played the game before, and he's interested in it, but he's never really bought anything with the intention of holding on to it and investing for value. So I decided to take Ice Ninja under my wing for about a month and see where we can get him. So for those of you that are interested in CSGO skins, this video is for you. And so is this website, the sponsor of our video, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site, Skins Monkey, by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Alright guys, let's meet our future Wolf of Dust 2. Hi, I'm Ice Ninja 101 and today I'm going to learn how to become the Wolf of Wall Street. It was clear that Ice Ninja was going to need a lot of help, so we got to talking about the fundamentals. All right, so one of the most important tips when it comes to like CSGO investing is figuring out if you want to specialize into something or if you want to diversify what you have. So basically specialization is just where you pick something to focus on and you buy a large quantity of it. This helps you take advantage of the multiplication effect that we talked about earlier. So basically the more of something that you have, if you know the price of it goes up, then you make more money because you have more of that item. And then diversification is a little bit more of a safer way to do things. We obviously only have a month, so I would personally recommend going with specialization, but it's up to you. So uh, which one do you want to go with? Now Jack had a crucial question to answer here. He could either make the video extremely boring and pick one single item to specialize in, or he could make the video a little bit more interesting and pick something to diversify into, which would make his inventory a lot more unique than- Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with the specialization one. Well, sorry guys. And why do you think that's a good idea? Because it, I can take advantage of the multiplication effect uh, especially since this is a short-term investment. All right, sounds good. So uh, let's go ahead and pick something out to buy into, and we'll go from there. Now, because there was a lot of back and forth explaining how to use the markets and buy orders and stuff like that, I'm just going to go ahead and save us the time and narrate the choice. So we looked around at a lot of different options for specialization. Obviously, cases were something that were on our minds. Keep in mind, this all happened before the CS2 announcement, so we couldn't really take advantage of the CS2 announcement. We didn't even know what was going to happen at this point, so we were mainly looking for something that had a lot of people's attention at the current moment and would probably be a solid short-term investment, but would still be an option to hold long-term if all else failed. And after looking for a very long time, we eventually settled on Virtus Pro Hollows from Stockholm in 2021. Now, we chose these for very specific reasons. Firstly, we wanted to look for something that was undervalued, and in general, we believed that Stockholm was on an upward trend and was in fact undervalued. With Rio being a thing, there wasn't exactly great hopes for an alternative. There was simply the Paris Major on the horizon, which as we know now actually did provide very good alternatives to Stockholm, but at the time the Paris Major was still quite a ways away, so there was more than enough time to have this investment accrue value. Now we didn't want to go with the most hyped up thing from Stockholm in 2021, which was Maus Hollows. We didn't want to do that because those were already super expensive, and we wouldn't really be gaining a lot off of the multiplication effect if we did that. We also didn't want to go with something that was really low tier like the Evil Geniuses Hollow, for example, because simply put, those just didn't look as good and weren't as craftable. So we settled on the Virtus Pro Stockholm Hollow because that one was kind of in a nice sweet spot where it had some hype and it had some good craftability. It wasn't too expensive to the point where we could actually buy a decent quantity of them. There probably wasn't going to be an upcoming Virtus Pro sticker, and in general, the sticker just looks really good. Now, it's important to also mention that we bought these around the March 10th area. So there was already a lot of talk on Twitter that looked at like developer activity, and they could see that CS2 or something big was probably coming to the game. So one of the other factors that I communicated to Ice Ninja was that if CS2 did actually get released to the game, there would be a large spike in overall market prices because of the hype. So with that all said, we went ahead and bought our initial investment. 
obviously if you're wanting to invest in something you're going to want to use a cash site like buff for example because you're going to be able to get things for a lot cheaper the seed market was just used because it was easy to streamline the whole process and that's where we had balance on but our roi would definitely be a lot higher if we bought on something like buff so the initial investment was nine virtus pro hollows at a price of nine dollars and fifty six cents per hollow and that came out to $86.04. We were ideally looking for a 2x or a 3x return, but the sky was definitely the limit because there was a lot of hype starting to build around Source 2. And to call back to the beginning of the video, the last step was just to simply wait for time to do its thing. Okay, so it's April 13th. We're going to go ahead and give Ice Ninja a call because Virtus Pro stickers have gone absolutely ballistic. They're sitting at like 30 something dollars right now. So he's probably going to be pretty happy to hear that. I'm going to call him and we're going to see what he wants to do. Hey, what's going on? Uh, so, did you go ahead and have you, have you seen what's been going on with uh, Virtus Pro Hollows? No, I haven't looked yet. You should go check the uh, market, see what they're at right now. Hi, right, hold on, give me a sec, let me look. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wow. Yeah, they did pretty good, pretty good, huh? So, probably gonna yeah. sell them yeah. off. Yeah, I am. All right, cool. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Well, he seemed pretty happy about that. In the end, we were able to sell them off for about an average price of $30.20. After the Steam Market taxes came out to a total revenue of $231, which is also a total profit of $144.96. So for a month, I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so seeing how this all went, how do you feel about CSGO investing? Do you think that the uh, the coach did a good job? Yeah, I think you definitely uh, really pushed me in the right direction. You really helped me understand what I need to do. And you honestly made me a lot more confident and a lot more excited to in do more investing in CSGO in the future. All right, sounds good. That's a pretty shining review. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here. One of the reasons this investment was so massively successful is because we were able to take advantage of the Source 2 hype. Now, keep in mind, Valve updates are a totally normal market factor. Valve updates change the market all the time. And if you want to be a successful investor in CSGO, it's something that you have to be wary of. However, I do recognize that this was a sort of one-off scenario, so I'd like to repeat this experiment at some point down the road. But in general, I still think this video is an interesting proof of concept. And although we did get very lucky, that as well is also a factor of investing sometimes. But anyway, I I do hope that you enjoyed this video, tried a little bit of a different editing style for this one. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below, it took me a long time to make this video obviously, and a like will help it get out on the algorithm. Also consider leaving a subscription to the channel for the best CSGO investing tips anywhere else on YouTube. Check out my Discord and my Twitter if you want a chance to be one of the noobs in an upcoming video, and check out SkinsMonkey if you want to upgrade your inventory. See y'all next time, peace.